My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Skyrim. This is Hill. Just a brief announcement here. Uh, we are now uh, starting the Outlaws and Revolutionaries mod. Um, it has been removed from the Nexus. I think I have a link in the description. Um, it is hidden. And uh, I think if you do go to the Nexus site, they give you an alternate location where you can download this mod if you're interested in playing it. Um, apparently, there's been some controversy over the mod. Um, I guess people hating on it and whatnot. Um, one thing to understand, at least the way I understand this mod, is that it's not to be taken seriously. I mean, there's a lot of humor and whatnot that has been put into this mod. And I appreciate the mod for that. I think it's, it's funny and it's enjoyable to play. And I hope you all will appreciate it as well. So, you know, as we play through it, you know, it's not your ordinary Skyrim mod. There's, you know, language and situations and whatnot that are... I don't know. I guess, I mean, maybe controversial, but, you know, maybe funny. But I think this is meant to be tongue-in-cheek. It, it's not to be taken seriously. So, I'm going to go ahead. I think that's all that uh, I have to say. We are on, I guess, part two of the mission, Disarm and Destroy. We're looking for a voice shout. Um... This will be interesting since there are no dragons in this world and this character is not dragonborn. But we're going to go ahead with the mission anyway and see what happens. All right, we will continue without further ado. All right, Arella, we're here at Lost Echo Cave. Let's go. So, you're actually following me in this time. This is good. could use a mission that had men and myrrh rather than creatures because I'm starting to hunger. I heard something chittering. Seems clear enough. All right, it doesn't look like there's anything of value here. All right, Aurella, Aurelia. Uh oh. Here we have a door, 
and I don't see a way of opening it. Nothing, no sign of pull chains or levers. Wait a minute. Activate. There we are. Huh. It's a good thing I had a glowing mushroom. Well, I probably would have figured out what I needed sooner or later. All right, let's stealth. that I'm insisting on. All right, it looks like they've been cleared out. feed on this creature. I was starting to think I was going to need to go and get one of my companions, since it seems to be your method of operation to hang back. But it's good to see that you're here. <laughs> really? All right, triggering a trap. A tripwire is not supposed to end up in you being harmed. Deactivating it. All right, it's time to charge this weapon again. All right, well, here are all their victims. At least some. Just a little extra. There's no telling how long we'll be here. Hmm, they've got some blood. 
coagulating in my throat. <clears throat> I need to clear it out. What? You can feel free to attack them if you want to. Oh, look. We have company. Yes, we do. There we go. Chorus. Remind me not to make you angry. Have it your way. <laughs> All right. And let me just fill up one of my vials. Here it is. Disarm and destroy. <laughs> Staff of Death. A blast of death magic that damages a living target equal to its health. Really? Why would someone use that? I'll sell it, though. Damaging myself is never acceptable. All right. Dead end. All right, Aurelia, it looks like we have to go out the way we came. All right. That part is completed, aside from the glowing mushroom in the brazier. It was pretty straightforward. Let's go to our next destination. Just go to Trader's Post then. Looks like I've never been to Ingold Barrow. Oh, and look. Looks like bandits have set up camp here yet again. This is going to die already. I can take your stuff. Hmm. Aren't you aggressive? Anyone else? Well, at least there are fewer bandits this time. Let's keep moving. The barrow shouldn't be far. The anticipation is killing. Don't 
you think you could be a bit more subtle with your abilities? Alright, now there's a barrow over here, but there's a marker there. Let's go here first. Yes, this is Ingle Barrow. It's odd. There's no marker to proceed from here. Let's go and look at the other marker that's on the map. All right, so there's a hidden entrance that we need to use. Oh, you actually came with me. All right, I'm unclear. Okay, I guess I'm clear. We can only go down. All right, this is another one of those puzzles. I think we're going to have to go through the barrow itself. There's no way to open this door. Did you hear something? Okay, I need you to be quiet. I believe we have to pick up his helmet or something of that sort to trigger the opening. All right, let's... Excuse me. Let's go back through the barrow proper. All right, Aurelia. Here we are. Ingle Barrow proper. know why I feel a puzzle coming on. <laughs> How did I know? All right. It looks like contextual clues. Grass. you'd find a snake. Uh, we'll come back to that one. All right, there's only three. So this looks like light, air. How about a bird? And here we have water. Whale. Now let's pull it. There we are we have here? Nothing. Wait, hold on. Who is this? A dead scholar. Alright. Looks like it's this way.
It's really that simple. I can just open the gate. Let's keep moving. Wait a minute, is this a dead end? This is what I'm missing. Hmm. A puzzle wall, and I don't know if I have the claw. Don't have it. All right, then, it looks like we're stuck here. Okay. Ah, oh, you made it through too. Interesting. All right, here it is. Dis disarm and destroy three. something about removing the helm to open this door. All right, we're done here.
All right, as Archmage, I have a few tricks up my sleeve, but I see that you know them as well. There's no way you could have possibly gotten through that puzzle door without the claw. All right, let's head back to the Red Lantern. Let me know if you want anything. Sam? You're just going to walk all over me? That's some nice armor you've got there. You weren't wearing that earlier. What's the latest? I found the spell tomes you were looking for. Excellent. I can see you know what you're doing. The majors in our group will be excited to review these. I suppose you can consider your debt to us paid. Feel free to use the equipment, supplies and storage here. You can also ask for training from the other members if you want to beef up your skills. If you ever want some company for the road, let me know. All right, so I found the spell tomes. Try the shout. All right, ask Sam about his armor. I think I will. What can I do for you? Where did you get that? Interesting looking armor. It is the armor given to members of a group I used to belong to, Order of the Reaper. What was the Order of the Reaper? We were a group of warriors from Cerdo formed prior to the Oblivion Crisis to fight the Necromancers. We were quite successful until. Wait. The Oblivion Crisis was 200 years ago. How are you still alive? Unless... Unless I am a vampire. <laughs> yes, exactly. I thought I sensed it about you. But you don't look like one. How is that possible? My bloodline is from Cerdo, not Skyrim. We are experts at concealing what we are. We are able to blend in with mortals and control our blood cravings. Well, at least to a certain degree. How did you become a vampire? As I was saying, my group specialized in fighting necromancers. Eventually, we encountered an enemy so powerful we were unable to defeat them with our usual methods. In our desperation to win, we made a deal with a Daedric prince. Molag Baal. Initially, yes, that's what turned us into vampires. But in those days, we couldn't just come out of the closet and reveal that. So we made a second deal with Clavius Vile to help conceal our condition and control our cravings. Did becoming vampires at least help you defeat the Necromancer? Simple answer, yes. But the cost was too great for our order to survive. Enough of us became so disgusted with what we had turned into, our order split up and went our separate ways. I moved to Skyrim to find a cure for my vampirism, and eventually I became a bounty hunter. Why bounty hunting? Well, at first I did it to provide the cover I needed to feed on humans. There tends to be less questions when you feed on someone you were hired to kill. But over time I've come to quite enjoy it. Bounty <laughs> hunting, that is. Oh, yes, of course. And what became of the rest of your group? Eventually we lost touch. There's a rumor that a few of us were later killed and buried in Skyrim. For all I know, I may be the only surviving member. Have you tried to cure yourself of vampirism? I 
I've tried several methods over the years. Even paid a visit to Falion in Morthal. I was going to suggest uh, nothing him. Has worked. Hmm. So, you've given up? No. In fact, I was about to head out to investigate a tomb where one of my old brothers is supposedly buried. It's possible they found the cure for vampirism, and uh, maybe the secret is buried with them. If you're interested in exploring the tome with me, I'll make it worth your while. All right. I'll help you find the cure, just as long as you don't try to apply it to me. But what I really want is that armor. I can't make any promises, but if you find one of my old brothers, there's a decent chance we'll find some more armor too. I'll mark the location of the tomb on your map. We can head out whenever you're ready. Very well, then. <laughs> Lost Hill Sanctum. Well, Aurelia, I don't think we'll be needing your services. How are we doing over here? We're doing fine. But this is something that vampires need to do. It's time for us to part ways. Take care of yourself and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. Hmm, now where have I heard that before? Solitude, perhaps? Sibyl Stentor? <laughs> Alright, Sam. Let's go.